Uh, my name is David Devereaux. I represent the Confederation of Clubs in the U.S. Defenders of Washington State. And uh, this is the third time I've been in front of this uh, particular committee in uh, two years. And so uh, I think hopefully this year we'll be able to get it done. Now, I'm going to keep my comments brief because I know that we've had extensive hearings, but I am going to focus on one issue, which is the fiscal issue, because that has been the only articulated oppositional argument through this process. Uh, we've established the pattern of profiling from $90,000 discrimination judgments to discrimination on the grounds of the capital during Back Thursday. I think we've communicated that to the legislature. The Senate passed this bill 48 to 0 two weeks ago. This similar version of the bill passed the House 96 to 2 last year. And again, you have executed out of this committee two times on a near unanimous vote. So the only relevant oppositional arguments that have been made have related to the fiscal costs. And I do think, as Senator Hargrove articulated, that we've dealt with those. Two things have been taken out of the bill that were originally there in this amendment. The first is the extensive auditing procedure which the WASPAS said would cost them money, and the second was the community outreach requirements. Those things would eliminate the fiscal impact. In addition to that, the first two sections of this amendment clarify that a policy statement to prevent and condemn motorcycle profiling and training to prevent and condemn motorcycle profiling will be integrated into current policy statements and training programs that already exist that condemn profiling. So it eliminates the fiscal concern, and it's my hope that because we have made these efforts that we'll be able to avoid uh, re a referral to the Appropriations Committee even, and this goes straight from rules to the floor. Um, you know, this, as uh, Senator Hargrove articulated, Section 3 maintains the definition of motorcycle profiling consistent with current legislative and judicial uh, interpretations of what profiling means. So it maintains that consistency. And uh, I think uh, actually even Representative Clippert that this bill has been tweaked to the point where I think we even have your support. So instead of a 96 to 2 vote, I think maybe we'll have a 98 to a 0 or a 97 to 1. Really, I appreciate all of the effort in particular that Chairman Hurst has put into this and and also Representative Kirby. I do deeply appreciate the effort you put into it. And this would have been scheduled for hearing earlier in the session had uh, Chairman Hurst not been misdirected by some misinformed motorcycle constituency members who informed him that a debate did not support the Senate's version of the amendment. This could not be farther from the truth. And again, I, I, I'm just deeply appreciative that you two t listened and took the effort to walk to the speaker and get approval to shorten the five-day requirement. Again, I appreciate it, and I'm open for any questions. I think it's time and that this bill is going to pass this year.